Hey guys, welcome to the Testing Academy and in this video we are going to discuss about which career option is better, a software tester or a DevOps. For a fresher or if uh, someone has some experience, they want to switch to software testing to DevOps or vice versa, right? Which career option is better? I'm going to use the three important parameters, okay? The parameters include programming language, salary and what do you love the most? Let's discuss this one by one and with my 10 years experience because I have seen people who have moved from software tester to DevOps as well as DevOps to software testing, I know the concepts as well as I know how the people have basically felt when they are trying to switch. So those parameters also I'm going to discuss in this video. All right. So let's get started and make sure you watch till the end because I'm going to discuss about very, very important topic with my experiences also. And I'm going to share a couple of stories also where a couple of folks have basically how they were able to switch to it. And I'm going to link a couple of resources to how to switch from software tester to DevOps and DevOps to software tester, vice versa. All right. So let's start the video. And let's discuss the first point, which is the programming language. So now I'll ask you this question. First of all, do you like programming? Do you like to do coding or not? Okay. So if this is the question and whenever there is a coding comes in your mind and you said, Oh, I don't like the coding. I know basics of coding, but I'm not sure what to do. Right. Then in the DevOps, definitely you are going to struggle a lot. But in case of software tester, right? In software testers are basically divided into two parts, which, which is manual testers and the automation testers. Many of the people will basically say there is no manual tester. Don't trust them. Manual testers are the testers who basically don't code. They basically try to execute the test cases. They prepare test plan and they uh, basically report bugs and everything. And they do it manually and they don't use any kind of an automation Okay, in their process of testing. In the automation testing, they try to include the automation or you can say they know some of the coding so that they can automate their scenarios. They basically simulate the user behaviors. Now you know what exactly is a software tester and there are two parts of it. Okay. So if you are comfortable in the programming language, or for example, if you are suppose you're comfortable in Java, then I would definitely recommend move towards the automation, right? But we are comparing the software testers versus the DevOps right now. But in the DevOps, if you see it's basic DevOps is basically a very vast field where what you have to do is you have to learn from a basics. Basic basically means you have to be confident in the bash scripting because most of the machines these guys are using in the DevOps, right? They are Linux based systems. So you should know about the bash scripting, shell scripting generally we call it, right? And you should have a command over one language. Most of the time people DevOps prefer Python language because of the syntax is very small and you can achieve many, many things. And there are very pre modules already sub modules are created to perform the DevOps activities. For example, AWS uh, libraries, GCP libraries, Jenkins related things are already made in the DevOps, right? So overall, if you think that if we take the programming as a parameter, right? The first parameter, then if you are underconfident in coding and then definitely you should move towards the manual testing part of it, right? And if you are good with the coding and you understand everything and you love to create scripts, right? Then you are a automation tester, right? But if you are someone who like to maintain the work, who like to handle the how server works, you have to basically love to scale the servers, work on the cloud infrastructure more rather than the web testing part where you will be automating the web scenarios, then you should move towards the DevOps. So I hope this is clear. So there are three things, which is manual testing, automation and the DevOps. This is three where I have specifically told you if you are comfortable with programming, you can go with the automation or the DevOps. But if you are not comfortable with programming, definitely go towards the manual testing, right? The second parameter is based on the salary. Guys, trust me, the salary difference is very, very important, right? And there is a huge salary difference between the DevOps and the software tester. Similarly, if we divide the three roles again, right? Manual tester, automation tester, and the DevOps, then you will see that DevOps have the highest salary because they are treated as same as the developer salary. Whereas if you see automation tester, they will have a slightly less, but the manual testers have a very low salary as compared to the automation and the DevOps, right? So if you are a fresher who want to switch to the software testing or probably uh, want to become a DevOps, right? Definitely I would recommend think about the salary perspective also. But in the longer term with my 10 years experience, I can say that after five to seven years, if you are moving towards the automation, the salary difference basically is not much, right? And after you achieve a lead position or a manager, position, you are treated well and the similar kind of a salary that you will see as a senior DevOps probably guy that you will be there, right? And the third point is what exactly it, which is the most important thing is 
what do you love the most guys this is where i'll tell you i'll ask you these questions straight away do you love to find bugs do you love to release projects do you love to maintain the quality of a project do you find exciting when finding bugs in a code of a different person are you the one who basically handles or who love to basically write the cases execute them and find the important bugs as a user perspective right if you are that person right definitely you need to move towards the tester side of it manual tester or automation tester that you can decide but if you are someone who like to basically handle the cloud architecture you love to create scripts which will basically scale up your infrastructure right if you are someone who love to write shell script to basically do some of the continuous integration and continuous delivery you love to handle the jobs you love to basically debug the core issues in the servers in the machine that definitely you need to move towards the devops so these three point i have told you right so now make your choice which one you like the most i'm telling you with my experience okay i have worked on devops also because my previous company where software testers are the devops guys right so i had an exposure to jenkins aws machine terraform gcps and other things also so i'm well aware about the or those concepts also okay for freshers directly jumping to the devops is very difficult right you have to take some of the trainings and after that probably after few months or so after the team is comfortable that you can handle the production server then they will definitely they will switch you towards the devops core work i would say in the software testing also they will do the same thing also now it's up to you guys how you can make your decision so i have told you the salary wise programming wise what you love most also as well as career growth wise i think both of them are great because i have my senior or you can say my friend who is a devops and i am a software tester and we are at the same salary packages almost salary i have a extra also because i am a more inclined towards automation so almost similar salary with the similar experiences that we have seen and it's also depend upon the product if you are choosing the product based companies or not okay so in mncs most of the times multinational companies or you can say startup generally you will get a less salary or in a product based company generally you get the higher package so that's a different point of view i hope this is clear guys and which one is better option for you it's you up to you now to decide a uh, software tester or a developer right and i am going to put a link in the description where i have told how to switch from software tester to devops there is a person who was my friend right he will basically tell you about the seven tips that you need to basically do to switch from a software tester to a devops and those are very very important so make sure you watch after this video thanks a lot and i'm attaching couple of resources how you can basically switch from tester to devops with the exact mind map all right so make sure you leave a like and subscribe if you think this video is providing you value please give a like and subscribe i'll see you in the next video and if you are someone who want to see the part 2 of the series where we will discuss about the more about the software tester and devops things please type part 2 in the comment and i love to see you your comments all right thanks a lot i'll see you in the next video